Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to find the vertex of a quadratic uh, function and also how to find the line of symmetry. So just to clarify as we get started, okay, if I am to plot a quadratic function like the six that you can see on the left hand side of the page, there is two kind of options as to what the graph will look like. So regardless of where the x-axis and y-axis are, that graph is going to be, if you like, a smiley face. Or the alternative is that it could be a sad face. Now, the shape is known as a parabola. And the minimum or maximum point, look, is called the vertex. So let's write that down. So if it's the smiley face version, it's going to be there. And I guess if it is the sad face version, right, that vertex is there. It's also the maximum point or the minimum point, And we're going to try and find it uh, using the completing the square method. OK, so first of all, um, to identify if it's smiley or sad, OK, then we need to consider the coefficient of the x squared term, right? So if my function is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, then the smiley face version has x, uh, sorry, a being greater than zero. And the version where we've got a sad face is a being um, less than zero. OK, so now that's out of the way, let's start thinking about this. Now, the way to do it is to start off by writing something in completed squared form. So let's take a look at A and see if we can do that. So we could write A as x minus 1 all squared. Now, if that is then squared, I would get a positive one as my co as my uh, coefficient. And so I would need to take away two. Right. OK, so um, x squared minus 2x minus 1 written in completed squared form is y equals x minus 1 all squared minus 2. OK, next thing to worry about. Well, this tells me something. This tells me lots of things, in fact. OK, because let's just think of it as a line of algebra. What's going to make this y value um, as small as possible? Because if we think about this thing inside this bracket here being squared, well, the smallest possible value that can be is zero, right? Because even if it's negative, we're going to square and get a positive number. So if that was zero, then I would have zero minus two. So the smallest value that y can possibly take is minus two. So I've done half of this already, right? Minus two. And of course, what number was it that for x that made me think about that zero in the first place? Well, that would occur when x is equal to one. So my minimum point is x uh, sorry, is 1 minus 2. Now, how do I know it's a minimum, not a maximum? Well, because I know I'm dealing with a smiley face because I have that number in front of x squared just being a, a positive 1, which is greater than 0. So there we go. We can draw it. OK, this point here is 1 minus 2. Now, how do I find the line of symmetry? There is this, a parabola is a symmetrical shape. It has a line of symmetry right through the middle there. Well, of course, if that has an x coordinate of one, then that line of symmetry must be x equals one. That's it, we're finished. Now, to save time, all we need to remember is that the number on the outside is the y coordinate of that vertex point. And then if we take this number here, and change the sign over, that's going to be our x coordinate of that vertex point. OK, let's try and work out b now. So b is x squared plus 6x plus 8. x squared plus 6x plus 8. OK, step number one is to write it in completed squared form. So I half the middle term. That will generate a 9 outside. So I'll need to take away 1 in order to get that eight. So there we go. I can already see the answer. My minimum point is gonna be negative three, negative one, because this value is the y, and the opposite of this is the x, where I change that sign. So is it a smiley face or a sad face? 
It's of course a smiley face because I have a positive number in front of the x squared. So if I was going to draw this, it's going to be a smiley face. This is minus three minus one. And if I wanted the equation of that line of symmetry, it's going to be x is equal to minus three. And that really is it. That's all we have to do. Now, perhaps we should try one more challenging question. So let's have a little look at f. y equals 3x minus 2 minus x squared. y equals 3x minus 2 minus x squared. Now, straight away, this looks different. So let's rewrite it in a way that is easier to understand. y equals minus x squared plus 3x minus 2, like that. Now, from here already, what I can see is this is going to be a sad face because I've got that um, coefficient of x squared is negative. It's a negative 1. So bear that in mind. Now, let's complete the square. Um, so there's a minus 1 outside. I would, to, for, to follow the previous video and to follow those steps, let's just rewrite this taking a factor of minus one out. So minus one open bracket, x squared minus three x plus two. And now we can probably go about trying to solve this. It's a tricky one, but we can certainly do it. So we half the middle term, x minus three over two, all squared like that. Now, if I imagine um, squaring that number, the minus three over two, I'm gonna get a nine over four. And of course, I want it to be a positive 2. 2 is an 8 over 4, right? So that means that I am going to need to take away a quarter in order for that to happen. So let's write take away a quarter there. Okay, now we'll, we'll just expand out the minus 1. So if I, um, if I multiply out that minus 1, I am going to have this as minus x minus 3 over 2 all squared plus a quarter. And from here, we're ready to write out um, exactly what our point is, our vertex point. It's going to be positive 3 over 2, a quarter. Now, it is a sad face. So if I was drawing it, I would write it like that because that leading coefficient is negative, And this is 3 over 2, a quarter. And don't forget, of course, that if I wanted the line of symmetry, it's x equals 3 over 2. Okay, I hope that helps you to understand how we can find the vertex and the line of symmetry using completing the square.